um, one of the comments um, was saying something that, oh, it's like filter made freckles. Like there's no way that it's real. Unfortunately, it's genetic. You know, like I have my freckles. Um, my mom has always had freckles. My niece actually has a lot more freckles uh, than me, uh, than both of us combined actually. Um, and the reason why some of my, you know, like the comments were like, well, you know, she didn't have that, those before. Well, I did, but I was ashamed of it before. I was ashamed of my imperfection. I was ashamed, I was ashamed of my imperfection. I, I was ashamed of these little black dots, you know, on my face. And I've always had that since I was a kid, you know, but, um, growing up, you know, as a teenager, I was kind of like ashamed of it. And, and I've always been kind of like under the, the, the scrutiny of the public. And so, you know, and, and obviously there was no social media. So you only saw me like on TV, which obviously I, I put on, you know, foundation, whatever, but I made sure that it was flawless, right? I, I made sure that there was no freckles shown on, on, on these TV performances. So I wasn't educated or trained to love these freckles because the society wasn't like that before. You know, the society, the society or the trend at the time wasn't um, showing your imperfections, right? It was more hide your imperfections and uh, highlight your, your, your strengths. And that's what I did. And, and it was, um, it wasn't until, you know, I was old enough to understand that I need to embrace it because it's a part of me. Um, and, and I'm not just talking about freckles. Freckles is just, you know, freckles just happen to be the topic, <laughs> but it's not even just about freckles. It's about your imperfections in general, you know, and, and the fact that you guys should stop finding the negativity even in a positive post like you guys need to stop that like as a com as a community as a society as a as friends as someone's kids or someone's parents like we, we we need to do better we need to uplift more people and not the other way around i can take it you know i can handle the negative comments because you know like i'm i'm Hey, I'm, I'm used to it already, but not everyone is like that. And the fact that there is a month for mental health awareness shows just how serious this, it just shows how serious this problem is. Whew, damn, like I, the type of news that, that I've read about kids get bullied in school or on social media, and then they ended up taking their own lives damn like that type of news man like it, it just hurt my soul like you know as much as you or you know those people not everybody but those haters don't believe that i didn't have filters what filters whatsoever on that post i also can't believe that y'all don't have filters for your own fucking mouth for the type of comments that you you'd be posting on on like other people's photos but enough blabbering you know, I guess the point is we we need to find a filter for ourselves and our brain for how fast it is for us to find other people's mistakes, but our own. Now, that's a problem. Um, but yeah, for mental health awareness, we, we got to do better, guys. We got to do better than this. Uh, we deserve better. Um, so yeah, God bless you. Share, like I I'm sending you great vibes. Uh, and tell me, tell me, tell me, what do you want me to post more? Like, uh, I don't know, you know, should I go on live IG, uh, I mean, IG live and talk about this more or what? Because um, I feel like this conversation is needed. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs>